everybody welcome to the sway corner for those joining us for the very first time welcome my, my name is Orlunda btw hi so today i share with you my go-to makeup look that has really been giving, getting me like a lot of compliments uh every time i wear it yeah i'm a little bit irritated my thing about a good makeup look is usually always 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 like skin prep so i didn't prep my skin so we can prep it together so this is the neutrogena hydro boost water gel um for hydrated skin and healthy glow i'm so sorry if the light keeps going out in and out i'm literally by the window and this natural light that's literally what it looks like i like that it's almost like a serum so i use this first then i follow it up with because you know me i'm a vaseline girl my skin is that dry um i've i i migrate in between vaseline guys like literally or petroleum jellies is that what we're calling them petroleum jellies it's because it's not vaseline the brand and right now i'm using the petroleum jelly from kilix and i apply that all over my face mind you i leave like two minute um interval I mean two minute breathing space between the products so they can sit nicely lately new sunscreen hydrogen hydro boost um, CT shield hydrating lotion this one is SPF 25 I use this for when I'm not going out and then I have a SPF 30 for the weekdays and I also like that it dries literally look at how it's translucent on my skin and it's not like yeah i take everything down to my neck my face is nice and like juicy and oily and instead of like usually like for when i go out i like to wear a all matte products I, I moved away from that for a while and i am using the prime plus from revlon this brightening one has been my go-to because it doesn't leave my skin so oily I mean so dry when I apply it and of course I need all the hydration I can get because for a bald head you need your skin to literally play its part and look at how glowy my skin looks just from applying this primer it's like the one I start off with my eyebrows everybody knows that story but I do my eyebrows a little bit differently than I usually do I put powder this is literally just setting pow press powder um this is from smudge so just a little bit of powder and then i use my spoolie to brush my eyebrows up and look at how they're already setting i don't know why this works i've realized that it works and it gives me a nice subtle like eyebrow look and then the, this gel that I'm using, of course, is the one from um, Signature, the gel and liner definer. Quick, beautiful, like I cannot, I love this eyebrow. I think it's been like my favorite thing so far. So the foundation that I'm using is that I use is the Yardley Foundation Stay Fast Foundation, a combination to oily skin, 24 hour wear, matte coverage, oily shine control with an SPS of 20. It doesn't dry down as much as it dries down plus it doesn't make my skin feel like matte, matte, matte. But I've been loving it. And I already have a review of this foundation. So you can have a video here. You can see it up here. I just put it in the back of my hand. It's like two pumps and so instead of applying it to my face i apply it just like this but look see how beautiful the shine is literally only what i need and mostly in the outer areas of my face and then i go in with the brush with nothing on extra and just go into the center See how it already like looks so cool. And then I take of course what is left on this and then I try to like put it on the side of my head because you need 
to make sure your face and everything else like blends because so that there's no line of demarcation between your foundation and your skin so when people look at you they look at you like and not see lines or anything because like you're bolted there's nothing to hide and then i go in with um of course concealer the concealer that i've been using well i don't really have a favorite concealer i've been using so i'm just gonna win with any concealer at this point right now i'm going in with the infallible concealer and i just put it there so and then of course i go in with the dark um stick foundation for contouring and instead of pulling my putting my contour down here i put my contour right on my cheekbone right there and i don't even bring it all the way in here i just make it stay there see where it is it just stays there there you go that's where it stays And then there, and then top lip, of course. And then I'll create a line here just so I can blend in. Right now, I'm just going to do it where there's no hair because really, that's what I would do. I would put the line all over my forehead and do it there so i can blend that out nicely i go in with the concealer close to my skin tone just i've seen guys do when they do their found, uh, foundation they do this i decided this would be so cool because then it creates like a nice line like i went to the barber shop you wait and see okay and then i just pulled this one down i said for this one because i pull it down See, doesn't it look like I went to the barber shop? It looked like I went to the barber shop. And I'll just bring it all the way to the area there and do the same thing there. I'll start blending out my concealer first with a brush. I love a brush when I'm using this little foundation because, oops, it gives me so much coverage compared to when I'm using a beauty blender. And I'll just go in with the beauty blender a little bit later to make sure that I have no lines of demarcation. So it just helps bring the product up nicely. And I take it all the way to my lid. And I go all the way up here. You know, instead of making it dark there, I make it light because then it it, it looks like it's giving my nose a bridge. This takes me about 15 minutes in the morning. But I tell you, it's well worth it. And then I go in with my foundation brush again, in and up and in. And then I go here at the edges and I brush that area. And the one that's here, I brush up. I just feel like it, it gives me an extra... the blend for me it's a blend right now we set the face you can set the face using a translucent powder i've been using this powder that i bought from jet just could be gorgeous literally there um i don't know what you call these things poofy i go up in there i like it because it gives me precision this is a light one by the way And all the way there.
and I take it all the way in to my lid all the way see how that looks the line that I created and I take it just past where the hair grows just up there and then here as well just past that and that's that and then I'm going to let my face set and then I go in with this um guys eight days of bronzer customized your below I got this at the China shop in N1 in Cape Town with that dark brown there that one there it's um, it's a shimmer guys it's literally a bronzing shimmer thingy and I take that what's on the brush and I tap it off and I just pat the area and I put the concealer and I pat the product on that area the nice thing I like about this brush is that it's almost like a, it goes like that so it's a nice angle brush so wherever I put and I put, like to put here on the tip is what I brush with so that it doesn't give me so much product So I put that in that area just there. I don't put a lot in this area simply because my face already looks much smaller because I don't have um, wigs on. So it's like my face went and hair. So it's like my face went like this. So I don't try to do a lot. That's why I keep my contour right here and not bring it down like I used to with the other one because my face looked a little bit wider because of all the hair and extra stuff but now when there's nothing usually it's just that and that i just keep it there so that it doesn't look too skinny so just with what's left is what i go on the top but look at that demarcation there are you seeing how that's looking are you seeing that that's looking that looks so cool love it using the blush nudes by maybelline i literally used a lot of the blushed nudes and it's like very subtle colors that i've been using um i'm going to use that dark brown going with that one then in the white one you guys already know how much i've loved this way since i i literally um reviewed the palette but you haven't seen me use it. I used it a lot in the week. And you can see how it's already showing up. I'm very subtle with my makeup in the week. I really don't go like overboard or anything. And I use just one brush. And then following up the other shade that I told you I'm going to use. Just there in the other areas because that brown is just for the cut crease and then because this is the same brush i just brush it into the brown same story on the other side and then i'm going with that white one and i put it right in the inner corner and brush it in with the rest of the colors And I take it past my eye right almost to the here. I don't know what you call that, to the bridge of the nose in a sense. Using the same brush, I'll go in with a powder again, just be gorgeous from Jet. Guys, I'm really cheap when it comes to eye uh, powders, setting powders, because I just feel like they're too expensive for nothing sometimes. But anyway, those are my go-to ones in the week. I just then brush that area there. And I love this mascara because I love the one. This this are uh, mascaras by Smudge. They were twenty seven dollars at Clicks. So I love the wand and how small it. And I made sure to look for this wand because how, look at how nicely it did my lashes. Mind you, in the week I do wear lashes, but 
I don't like the to wear lashes as much because they literally hinder me wearing my um, specs for work, my glasses. Because yeah, I need I need them. Like I need my glasses. Like I cannot deal not wearing glasses at work. Like I just I can't. There we go. And then the same one, nothing else on it. I just brushed the bottom the lashes as well. See how cute that looks. And then for blush, I've been using any type of blush, specifically the more lighter blushes, not the darker ones that I'm used to from um, NYX and i believe in a blush so i usually go between that one and i just go th through all of them and like free the life out you know and i just pet that area that needs some blush during the week i do keep the highlighting very to a minimal and so i'm going to use my wet n wild bronzer i feel like with this look i don't really need much on like my cheeks and stuff also i put it much closer to my eye This is a more realistic look of my everyday look. No lashes at all. I will literally lay on this mascara over and over again just to get that beautiful like look that I want and them to pop. But the NYX liner also helps. So basically I ended up um finishing my my lip off with this three lipies here. Um this one is from Maybelline and this is the all women lipsticks. I don't know, like for Shini had a sale on lipsticks. One was like on sale, half the price or something. It was a long time, while ago, and then I bought like a whole bunch of them. But this is basically how that looks, and I love how this makeup really makes me feel. And at the end, or <sighs> let me finish. I love the way this makeup makes me look. I love the way that I put it on, and that is really fitting for this face. It doesn't make my face look too slim. And I also like this look because I created it without using lashes. You can usually put lashes on, you know, stop by. But again, with me, like I put glasses on. I want them at the office now. But I put glasses on because, and it, it's not realistic for me in the week to put literally lashes on. Unless I really like that day, feel like I really want to put lashes on, then I will. But this is my everyday um, makeup look. Um, that's basically it. I just wanted to share this look with you. Thank you guys so much for watching. I hope you really like this look, like the way I like it and yeah i'll see oh don't forget to like comment and subscribe to the channel please subscribe to the channel to help it grow i know like 60 percent of you who watch my videos on a regular are not even subscribers so just how do you know you're not subscribed when that subscribe button just down here is still red you're not just getting subscribed so make sure you subscribe so that is great say subscribed then you subscribe just in case you're not sure you're like but i am subscribed 60 percent of you who watch are not subscribed so make sure that you please are and this will help my channel grow and other people get notified from the videos because they see that people really like my content. And I know you do because you're always here. So thank you guys so much for watching and do leave a comment below how do you like this makeup look. I'll see you guys in my next video.